And now it's time for What's Hot. We talk about stories that have all of us talking. And we're joined by Susie Falk of the Falk Group, plus Jeff Wagner is back with us. And our first topic, Food Network sweetheart Paula Dean is in some hot water today after admitting to using the N-word in the past and telling racially charged jokes. In a statement, the Food Network says that the Food Network, quote, does not tolerate any form of discrimination and is a strong proponent of diversity and inclusion. So is Dean doomed? Well, you know, good for the Food Network for not, you know, for distancing themselves from mm -hmm. her. And I would for a while now. She's a fairly unlikable person. I mean, outside <laughs> of being a racist, um, remember when she hid from everybody that she had diabetes? Mm -hmm. And you know she cooks with all this lard and sugar. And I mean, she couldn't <laughs> offer any more unhealthy food than she does. So she's quiet about her diabetes for three years until, uh, until uh, Novo Nordisk decides they need a celebrity spokesperson. So they ask mm -hmm. her to be a celebrity spokesperson. And before you know it, she's out there making tons of money on this mm -hmm. and in, in my mind it's as despicable as an, a famous oncologist saying you know what it's okay to smoke and I'm gonna represent Philip Morris because I can help you so I, I do not like this woman I, I think I it's think going, I can tell that yeah, <laughs> well I, I think it's gonna be difficult for her to come back from this one mm -hmm. candidly I, I do and it's it, what's so amazing to me in today's day and age is that this isn't something that supposedly happened like 35 or 40 years ago mm -hmm. I mean this is a relatively recent sort yeah. of thing and you're sitting there thinking, okay, first of all, who thinks like this nowadays? But, but secondly, mm -hmm. even if you think like this, given your position, yeah. what are you doing articulating this yeah. for goodness well, sake? Well, her shtick is Southern cooking, and unfortunately, mm -hmm. there's a racist element to our society. Fortunately, most of them live in the South. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, shame on this woman. Well, you know, this all came to light by the National Enquirer. I mean, we must say that. But that being <laughs> said, the reason that they got a hold of the story was because one of her former employees was suing her right. for racial and sexual discrimination. So it is interesting that she admits to using the word. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I, I, just, I just, I don't see how, I, even though she's very, very popular on mm -hmm. the Food Network, the, the truth is you can find lots of people who do recipes and do the stand Are, and stir stuff. But if she gets the big true. PR team and does the big apology, mm -hmm. will that work? Yeah, it will. You know what? The Possibly. public has a short attention span. She, right. the, the apology must be sincere, but she'll have some good PR counsel and she'll go on probably to profit <laughs> from this very unfortunate situation. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't like, either. For, yeah, yeah. See, see, Susie, I, I have a lot of respect for folks who do public relations and damage control and all. I'm, I, sometimes, though, you know, you sometimes there's just too much damage. She'll just well, slather some butter on it. She'll adopt a cause, <laughs> is what she'll do. So. All right, we'll leave it at that. Out more. What's hot topics? Again, we're joined by Susie Falk and Jeff Wagner of News Radio 620 WTMJ. Our next topic: a mm. life touch photograph. Photographer is getting flack over a disabled boy's school photo. Can you see this photo? Take your eyes to the boy in the wheelchair on the right. As you can see in this picture, a second grader, Miles, was pushed off to the side, confined to his wheelchair and away from his classmates. Miles has spinal muscular atrophy. After an online outrage, the company reshot the photo. And so, is this the new photo? Uh, go no, that's go the to old, the new that's photo. The there was, we did okay, see in the new photo where he was so actually sent it, sitting it, on the yeah, bench. Yeah, so, and obviously, you have to wonder, you know, what were they thinking at the mm -hmm. time when they took this photo? But, but if you look real carefully at okay. the photo, and I think a lot of people miss it, mm -hmm. the wheelchair bumps up to the riser. Okay, I'm not saying yes, that it does. justifies it, but I think a lot of people don't see that. And so, physically, they but, couldn't get the chair any closer. That being said, someone wasn't being very sensitive. But I mean, they got he, the boy off the chair for the next photo. So right. somebody just wasn't thinking. Right. Somebody and, wasn't thinking. And, and they didn't, and the other thing, if you look at the initial photograph, there's mm -hmm. still a difference between the last child and the end of the riser, which creates the, the gap between the, the children. Mm -hmm. So that's the new photo. But, but I mean, look I, at that one. I mean, the second one, how happy he is. All, well, he just wants to belong. He's, yes. he's right. craning his neck to try to mm -hmm. fit in. Once you put him in, into the group well, and he's got his, his uh, caretaker with him and they're, they're happy. See, what's so amazing about this entire thing to me is, all right, children, you know, with disabilities and wheelchairs, this is not a unique thing, right. you know, and mm -hmm. I, I can't believe that this was the first time, for example, that some school photographer mm -hmm. was ever confronted with something like this. Mm -hmm. I, it, you know, it, as a matter of fact, when I talked about this on the radio yesterday, people were saying, I mean, I had calls from photographers saying, hey, you deal with this all right. the time in composing these pictures. You don't do this. Right, right. right. But they remedied the situation. I mean, they did what yeah. they should have done, so. And we are now and happy. They, and they learned from their <laughs> Yeah, mistakes. and I doubt it was intentional. I just think I no one think was, was really intense. thinking Foolish. at the moment. It's like, you know, let's get, let's get, you know. And so it's good to know there was the right remedy. Right. It's not Friday, but this is eye candy for ladies. <laughs> Finally, today, ladies getting 
into the room. Yes, this one is for women only. For parents, you may want to ask your kids to go outside. Hello. But check this out. Hello. Hello. That's right. Kraft's <laughs> new zesty Italian <laughs> dressing. It features a very muscular man lying naked in a picnic cloth arranged very strategically over <laughs> his body. The tagline reads, silverware optional. Let's get zesty. Uh-huh. There you go. Kraft's Hot topic. Yeah, Kraft's a pretty <laughs> conservative company, too. You know, I think this is in sort of the trend in advertisers trying to get us to talk about it, to send it out on the internet, to make it go viral. Um, ship My Pants, the K Kmart commercial, yes. right? Uh -huh. Okay, I, shout out to Sean Burns. He was my high school lab partner. Sean, brilliant. He was the guy behind the Ship My Pants mm -hmm. commercial. And 18 and million viewers ship later. Out, you're saying S-H-I-P. Ship, ship, because right. you can say that yes. on TV. Ship yeah, My why? Pants. We would have had the delay if she I were guess. saying something else. So Just Google Ship My sure Pants. We don't get any calls or emails. <laughs> After you're done with Zesty Man, uh, Google ship my pants. Right. But people are thinking outside the box very creatively. Yes. So we're all talking about it on what's hot and on the internet. Now, yeah. are you buying dressing, though, is the question. I'll think about Zesty Italian dressing, well, dressing after and, that. And, and all I know, <laughs> people, you know, during, during the last break, we saw that the first advertisement were running for 620 WTMJ with mm -hmm. Gene Miller and Bob Euchre and all that. I'm going to be featured in the next one. It's going to be something just like that, you know. So, you know, get, get, get ready. Okay. I, I'm working out at the gym. It's all not right. dressing luck, anymore. Jeff. Yes, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doesn't look like Paul, it's... Paul Newman, <laughs> Paul Newman passed away. Oh, no. No, oh, Jeff, we can't I'm wait kidding. to see your pictures. <laughs> Life touch, maybe? All right, we'll leave it at that. Ooh. We're safe, come on. Quick <laughs> break, and we'll be right back.